Hey guys, here's yet another addendum to my previous addendum, okay? Uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a what? A sound mind. Okay, uh, let's see. Romans 8, 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Hebrews 2, 15. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. We've been delivered from such things. 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Okay. Just looking. Okay, 1 Corinthians 2, 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Romans 5, 5. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Okay. Um, just looking, looking, looking. All right. Um. So I'll do the last two. 2 Corinthians 5.13. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. Or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. 2 Corinthians 5.14. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. So we have been, we're dead to the law. We're dead to the bondage of fear. Okay. We don't have to allow any fear porn to have any power or control over us. For those of us who have believed the gospel, we just renew our minds and who we are in him. We, we renew our minds. And when we renew our minds, we are able to abide with power and love through the spirit and with a sound mind. So how do we get that sound mind and how do we keep it by continually renewing our minds in Christ. We look to Christ, not to the world. Remember, we are of the eighth day. We are hidden in Christ. We have nothing to do with the present world system. Yes, we're in the world. Yes, we work. Yes, we take care of our families. Y'all know I'm not talking about that. Yes, we have responsibilities. But what I'm talking about is not finding your identity in anything that is of the world, okay? Your identity is in Christ and Christ alone. It doesn't mean you're a lazy Christian. No, you go out and you take care of your family. If the Lord leads you to do something, you do it. But the Lord is not in anything that is causes fear or anxiety, okay? The Lord is not in that, okay? All right, guys, be blessed.